Now, recently, the Tennessee Titans, and I know what you're thinking, wait a second, football? I don't want to hear about no stinking foosball. But uh, it's video game related. So apparently the uh, Tennessee Titans have had a recent renovation, um, I guess, with their locker room. Uh, they had high-definition televisions, PlayStation 4s, um, and they got that. They lost that during the renovation. So what to do when you lose all of your fancy new equipment well apparently one of the uh one of the titans uh looks like it taylor lewin taylor lewin um he brought in his nintendo 64 and his copy of super smash brothers props by the way for him still holding on to that because i don't even have my version um my original version of smash so he brought that in to have the team, uh, you know, just kind of fit in quick matches here and there. <laughs> um, and it's interesting because now the whole team is obsessed with the original Smash Brothers. Um, <laughs> and Lewin talks about his teammates. He says that they're pretty, pretty bad, pretty awful. Um, he says regarding Nick Richer, uh, he'll just use, he'll just be Pikachu and he'll shoot a lightning bolt over and over and over again and distract people. And while he's doing that, I'll go fight the other guys. <laughs> um, but he said that, uh, he got the Nintendo 64 for his 10th birthday. Um, he said that he, he loves Goldeneye, 007, Diddy Kong racing. Um, he, uh, said that the best thing about it is that there's no loading with it and you know that's definitely one of the reasons that nintendo went with cartridges for that system um but this is this is interesting i, I like the fact that uh these guys got into got into smash brothers and once a month um at my house we'll do a we'll do a game night and we always end up playing smash brothers it doesn't matter if i try to suggest something else Everyone just wants to play Smash because it's just it's a classic game. It's pick up and play. There's not a whole lot to really learn about it um, in a casual setting. And it's 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 a classic. It doesn't matter what version of the game you, you play. You're going to get a very good experience. But, yeah, what were your thoughts on that? I think it's hilarious that just a bunch of giant beefy dudes are just sitting in a locker room playing super smash brothers yelling at each other like get this link out of here man what are you even doing and like all these guys are just like tackling and pulverizing each other on this field and just all these guys that people like look uh look up to as like really strong sports guys that are super cool they're just in the back playing this super nerdy game from like 99 yeah <laughs> yeah I I guess I hadn't thought of that. Like, it'd be funny if they actually like are more upset over losing the sixty-four, losing a or losing a match over like losing an actual game. I would. I absolutely would. And it's the Titans, so you know they lose a lot. So there's a lot to be upset about. Yeah. Or maybe they're just used to it. Oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, I thought that was a neat story. One of these little. Uh, I guess articles that made me at first I, I debated whether or not talking about it, but no, it's, it's hilarious. And it just shows you that smash has a universal appeal behind it. Um, even if you're not into video games, you can still pick up a controller and have a good time. Yeah. I can honestly say that I think the last week I played smash brothers at least once a day. For at least an hour. That is a lot of smash. There's a lot of smash. We have to we have to teach our roommate. Uh, three of us that live there know each other, and there's one guy that um, is friends with one of our roommates, but me and the other guy haven't met him as much or talked to him as much. So with the four of us living there, we we have to try and get him to do the things that we like. He's also it's actually really funny to not be the most introverted person in a building. I didn't think he would be that introverted when I met him, but very, very introverted person. And uh, does he watch some podcast? 
I don't think so. <laughs> about to say, you might be betraying his trust here. No, that's okay. That's why I'm not saying his name. And, Good. um... Yeah, he's never played Smash Brothers before, so we've been... We've been working him hard. Teaching him the ways. 